Special thanks to Corey Wilson. Just signed up for the Patreon. He will get be able to message me directly. He also will be able to see videos before they come out. Weeks, sometimes months before they come out. Also, we're at TB Uncut. We're almost up to 500 followers over there. On Rumble, you get 100% of the notifications. So if you don't know what Rumble.com is, that's where all the people are going for freedom of speech, where you cannot be blackballed for your beliefs and what you think and what you say. So make sure you sign up for that. Sometimes on YouTube, they don't really, you know, they don't really pay attention to the notification. You say, I missed a live. If you're tired of missing lives, go sign up for Rumble.com. It's TB Uncut. And if you want to help support the channel for more than just cash apps, you can hit the Patreon channel. And that Patreon channel, you get stuff first, you can message me directly, and you also can help support the channel. I appreciate everybody who signed up for the Patreon and the TV Uncut. I'm happy that you're here for the live. Let's get into it. Not, not about nothing, so he stay away. But he knows me. He's like my brother. He's my play brother. And so he, he knew he was good, man, so he bought it. You know, he ended up getting a good deal, you know. But, um, but he was excited. I bring this up to say this. He's excited, right? A lot of people say, oh, that's an old truck, or that's it. You know, they're opinionated about a lot of things. It's his first truck, he's excited. And that's the same kind of excitement these companies look when they when they get people out of school. They're excited. They're excited to come to work. They're excited to be on time. You know, they ain't even looking at the money. They're just excited to be a part of it. For people down the road, you know, I'm going to look at them. I mean, they're like Grinches of Christmas, you know? Yeah, I mean... That to me, that that's a double-edged sword, bro. You know, you say, "Oh, I like them because they're excited." No, you don't. You like them because they don't know. And my thing is, if that's the case, if it was exciting, then why are the Grinch that crows Christmas not still excited? That's because they know. That means you, <laughs> they know. They know your health is going to go down. They know your relationships are going to spring, and they know if you're going to make those sacrifices, I should be paid. So if I tell you that. You know, no, nah, I need more money than that. That's me knowing. I'm not a Grinch. I know, so I'm not about <laughs> to do this for you. On this isn't this isn't a, a a fucking field trip. This is work. I need to be compensated. And most of the time, when you're dealing with these smaller little freaking or weird little companies that have these little weird ass policies, it adds up to you not being paid. So people get, you know, they get bitter. They get bitter. They get angry. They're losing shit. Their credit's going into the hole. Of course, they're going to end up that way. They're going if the if the industry was treating people the way they were supposed to, those dudes would not exist in the number that they do. I don't see welders complaining about pay. <laughs> where, not, where? Maybe not. Maybe you're not talking to enough of them. No, 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 bro, bro. bro. Listen, listen to me. There's. The amount of welders complaining about pay is nowhere near the sign the amount sign of amount of truckers that uh, are. I agree. About I pay. agree. And you can't say because that. trucking is a seven hundred billion dollar industry compared to welding. Yeah, that's true, but it still doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not as many truckers, and not as many welders complaining about pay. It is truckers. You can go be a welder for sixty dollars an hour, hundred forty dollars an hour. You also will have unions across every single state that will support you in being a welder. You do not have that in trucking. Your health will not fall as fast as it will in trucking, unless you're inhaling the shit and you're not wearing the proper PPE. There's a reason why. It's not just, oh, this is bigger and this is smaller. No, you're fucking us. <laughs> and we feel some type of way about it. So after a while, people start, they start getting bitter. They start, I mean, it's a natural thing. If your old lady keeps cheating on you, eventually you're going to be like, fuck this bitch. So fuck let's her. talk about that. Yeah, let's talk about that. You got a good point. You say, well, they're fucking us. But here's the thing. Who's really accountable for that? At any time, if you don't agree to any kind of wage, whatever, you can always quit and go do better somewhere else. That's true. How many times, how many times have I came on here complaining about a rate? I don't know. I don't think you, know? you have at all. Not at all. Okay. Because... I'm not going to take something that I'm not going to agree with. I'm not going to work for free. Okay, I'm not going to take all that stuff. Out. That's, I'm, I'm going to be real shit with you. That's a white person corporate cop out. That's what that is. I'm being real with you. I'm not, I'm not trying to be ignorant. I'm being definitely definite real with you. Well, if they don't know, then fuck them. <laughs> Come on, bro. Like, no, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying if they don't know, fuck them. I'm just saying 
it's like people at McDonald's, right? In California. Like when I grew up, McDonald's were for high school students so you can pay for gas insurance and learn how to pay your bills and be responsible. I agree. Today, it's we need to get that minimum wage up. Like it's twenty twenty five dollars up here to work mm -hmm. at a at a, only at a fast food restaurant. If you work somewhere else, you get less. Why is that? It's, it's done. It's done, bro. But yeah, I it's totally the mentality of people they they deal with, right? So I'm not saying fuck them. It's just everybody's responsible to try to make or educate to make more or or try to move in a way to try to do better, try to make more. Mm -hmm. Now, some sometimes some people can't. If you live out there. In the middle of the forest on a lake, and there's nothing out there but a damn um, IHOP. You're screwed working on IHOP. You know what I'm saying? Like you're, whatever they give you, you're just you're just stuck. You know. But it starts with us, and it ends with us. Of whatever we want to do in our life. Period. People yeah, at McDonald's. I mean, like I said, that's they're trying to create. The, they're they're trying to raise that up to where you can you can you can support a family of four. So Cal, that sounds so good, bro. It sounds good. It's milky. Sounds like sweet buttermilk but it's bullshit. I hate to say it, but it is. It's bullshit. And then the truth is, if that was the case, why can't y'all hold people? We're, we're industrious. We're Americans. We believe in pulling ourselves up from our bootstraps. If it's just that, with all the amount of podcasts out giving people information, why are y'all not retaining drivers? Why? I'll give you a better one. Why aren't these drivers' kids becoming drivers? You became a driver, and your daddy was a driver. Well, you know what I didn't do? What? I didn't push my kids to be truckers. That, okay, you, know, you know why you didn't? Because <laughs> you... I see the future with this autonomous crap and this electric wow. crap and all that stuff. And Because eight years ago, you know? everybody told me I was bullshit for the autonomous shit. Now people see it. But what I will say is this. Bro, you don't do it because take... you, don't think that, you don't think the deal is as good as when you started. No, man, do something else. The whole thing is, I've been hauling electric trucks for like 10, 15 years, bro. It's been Dude, here. You are not telling your child to drive trucks because you no longer think the deal is as good as when you started. It's that. For, if it was, why wouldn't why would we be telling our kids to do it? Because the deal is still good right now. For right? you. But it's not going to be good for them to retire on because it's changing too fast. So I mean, the facts deal, of the, fa deal, bro. the facts are the facts, bro. We know what's happening. They they want to eliminate drivers altogether. They yeah. want these. They want one guy in the front truck and three behind them that driven by robots, and that's what they want. That's it. So I didn't want my kids to start a career being at fifteen years and find out there ain't no more truckers. I totally agree with you. You're, you're, you're now they're you're, older, trying to figure out how am I going to retire and their stuff. I totally agree with you. I take the same statement, which goes to my previous premise. It's not a good deal. So you're not keeping people because the more you lean towards this, the less shit you take away, the less payout it is, the less people that are interested in it. So the deal is not good. That that that's that's the point. The deal is not good. So once you get to people realizing that the deal is not good. And they're getting more and more reasons why they won't work for you, more and more reasons why they will leave. Then it's like, oh, well, we're not interested in them. Let's talk to the fuckers that don't know. Now I just want the person that just got here because they're excited. How the fuck are they going to be excited about something that's not going to exist in 10 years? That means they don't know. Right? Right. That means they, that, that's, that, that, is a, that is an abuse. Why would we put these people that are excited into a position for them to not be employable in 10 to 15 years. That's a fuck. That's terrible. It is. You know, when you take someone that's, that's excited, right? They're like a sponge of knowledge. They want to learn everything. And these mega carriers, these companies, they don't want them to learn. You know, and you're right. They, they hit up the deck and all that stuff so they can keep them. You know, I don't agree with how, how they do things with truckers. There's a lot I disagree with, you know, but. One thing I learned is there's a lot of jobs out there where a lot of people disagree with. One of my one of my homeboys, man, um, I don't know, he builds airplanes or he does some shit over there. And uh they didn't get the contract or something, they got laid off. You know, Boeing. There's a lot, there's a lot of that going on. You know, and that and, and, and not being political, that's why when people choose to vote for a president, wake up. I don't give a shit if the president's green, yellow, or purple stripes. What comes <laughs> oh, out of that person's mouth, and if he stands on what he says, and that's what's going to benefit you and your kids, 
I don't mean food stamps and, and Section 8 housing and all that bullshit, because that just teaches, that just teach you how to, you know, depend on people. I'm not with that, man. It's all about being independent, right? That's what full I, can't, is trying to I, can't, I can't disagree with you on that. I, I do believe um, these last four years, proof is in the pudding, man. It is what it is. Now, I don't know what people's affiliations are or if they don't like the way people talk. I don't care about nothing about people talk. Let's look at the pudding. The pudding is what it is. It just it, it is what it and is. It's, it's, and it's ignorance, bro. It's ignorance, man. Look what happened. To, was it Georgia? I remember it was a congressperson, senator, or whatever. You know, they talked to a certain race, like, get me in, I'll help you out. And then that person got in, didn't help out that nationality at all. Right. You know, it just sucks, man. You know? Everything becomes a political football. Nothing, nothing's really going to get done. That's why I tell people all the time is you got to figure out what is good for you. And I've, you know, I figured out, I figured out what was good for me. I started doing it. I stayed out of the way. And that's your best bet when you're, when you're doing this. Yeah. Figure out what's good for you. Everybody doesn't have the same niche. Damn sure everybody don't have the same connections. <clears throat> So you got to figure out what works for you. When you figure out what works for you, do it. And here goes another one. That's a big one. When you figure out what works for you and you do it. Yeah. Don't talk about it. Well, I would say don't talk about it on social media. Right, right, right. Don't, that, that, that would be the best way to say it. Don't come on here yeah. and talk about it. You gotta, you gotta, your, your folks are close to you, right, man. You always want to uplift everybody. You know? Exactly. But don't talk about it. Because if you talk tell about people, it on social media, they're going to adjust shit because they watch us. So they're like, oh, okay. Let's see what they're doing. Well, SoCal told them how to go to ABCDFG, you know, I'm going to fuck with it now. Like, don't, don't just, if you got people you love, put on the people you love. And if you are going to talk about it online, talk about it in broad strokes. And don't, what people don't realize on social media too is like, when I do trucking content, like my mentees and stuff, I, I actually taught them how to create businesses, how to be successful, like way beyond trucking one-on-one. But when I'm on here, I'm just talking trucking one-on-one to people. You know what I mean? And it could work for some people. You know, might not work for some people, you know? It's, it's not 100% of nothing, you know? So people don't realize that, you know? Yeah, I stopped doing the, the, big, the big, the whole lease conversation and owning conversation i just feel like it was an elite conversation you know the truth is most people are at the 101 stage Correct. they're they're not they're not going to understand how your insurance works with your with your uh, authority right you know and and if and and if, and if you make if we make it sound too good they will rush towards it and and lose out so now you're getting people right. who are listening to you and running to do it when they're not ready to do it. Correct. So it's like some information is not that you shouldn't give it to people. It's just that some information is not, the person is not ready for the information. You know what I mean? Like they see you, oh, well, SoCal's doing it. So I can get an authority in a truck and a trailer and no contract. Like I can do that. I can, you need to, cause they picking what they want to listen to from you. Correct. You'll tell them, hey, man, make sure you make the relationship first. They'll ignore that shit. How do I get that truck? Then they'll get the truck. Uh, make sure you do this with your, uh, I ignore that. How do I get, next thing you know, you know, they have a $260,000 truck, expensive trailer, and the trailer's sitting in the yard and they're hauling Amazon because they don't have time on their freaking, <laughs> they don't have time on their um, authority to even get any loads. Nothing against watched, Amazon, personally. Nothing against Amazon. I'm just saying. Yeah, I watched the video. I'm not even gonna speak on what channel it was, but he put a he he put a truck over there that with a custom brand new Peterbilt, saying he's been driving for 30 years and I can't make his mortgage payment. <laughs> now, when you listen to this shit, right? Like it's just him and one truck, right? Nothing yeah. wrong with that. When you're running the you're running just the load boards. Now, when you run just the load boards. You really can't plan in five years how it's going to go down. Your company depends on the load board. If it goes down and up, whatever, so does your life. 
lifestyle. And so him having a, a $300,000 truck and can't make his market, I didn't feel sorry for that dude. I'm like, bro, you bought, for a single guy, you bought way too much truck <laughs> to be on the spot market. And that's just a fact. And I can't, I can't feel sorry because you can't make your mortgage payment. Now, if he was in a, a 1999 paid off Freightliner, Columbia you know, could make his mortgage. I, I feel for the dude a little bit. Like Special thanks to Corey Wilson. Just signed up for the Patreon. He will get be able to message me directly. He also will be able to see videos before they come out. Weeks, sometimes months before they come out. Also, we're at TB Uncut. We're almost up to 500 followers over there. On Rumble, you get... 100% of the notifications. So if you don't know what rumble.com is, that's where all the people are going for freedom of speech, where you cannot be blackballed for your beliefs and what you think and what you say. So make sure you sign up for that. Sometimes on YouTube, they don't really, you know, they don't really pay attention to the notification. You say, I missed the live. If you're tired of missing lives, go sign up for rumble.com. It's TB Uncut. And if you want to help support the channel for more than just cash apps, you can hit the Patreon channel. And that Patreon channel, you get stuff first, you can message me directly, and you also can help support the channel. I appreciate everybody who signed up for the Patreon and the TV Uncut. I'm happy that you're here for the live. Let's get into it.